gonna get there soon you said that two days ago nobody said you had to come along nobody said about where I'm going either I told you I was going to Mexico I took a job down here yeah you also told me there was a little trouble down here there is like hell there's a war on what are they fighting about anyway a fellow running the country, a guy named Diaz. He's a dictator. He likes to rob from the poor and give to the rich. The people just got fed up with it. I mean, we're in the middle of a revolution. Don't you ever get tired of complaining? I get tired of getting shot at. Like I said, nothing says you have to come along. And nothing's what I'll end up with if I don't. A lot of thanks, I guess. What? I said a lot of thanks I get working to keep you alive. Having you work for me is like losing two good men. You didn't think so that night them four drunks jumped you in Del Rio, eh? Two of them were women. You're two. Well, it was dark. How could I tell? After you shot out the lights. I was trying to help. Help hell, you burned down the whole saloon. Stop the fight. And then they chased us for two days. Didn't catch us. If they had, I'd still be in jail. What about me? They don't lock up dead people. You just shot me. Right in your good eye. Well, that's a hell of a note. Yeah, you may change your mind if Wells Fargo decides to send somebody after us. Well, they already have. There's seven of them. We lost them at the border, but they'll cut our tracks again. You don't scare where the damn, do you? Why should I? They're coming after for the same reason you're along. See that I get safe back to Texas so you can find out where I hid the stole gold. <laughs> In other words, you got me working to keep you alive, you got Wells Fargo working to keep you alive, and you're trying to get us all dead. That's about the size of it. You're greedy, Cross. You're just plain greedy. That's all you ever think about, money. Yes, sometimes I think about other things, like, uh, what kind of a job did you take down here? I'm getting paid to see that this train don't get where it's going. How do you intend to do that? You and I get off the next stop. We're gonna blow up the tracks. Right. See.
White? My underwear. Wave it. If I had the wings of an angel over these prison walls, I would fly. I would fly to the arms of my poor darling. And there I'd be willing to die. Senor, you will come with me. My name is General Juan Francisco Garcia. My command is responsible for the movement and safety of all troops and supplies in this area. Did I mention I was a general? Yes, sir. Ah. Well, I won't be. If you two keep running around blowing up my bridges. Now, by rights, I should let them take you out and shoot you. Pero esos pobres infelices no lo pudieran dar un toro en el fundillo con un banjo. What did he say? He said that firing squad couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a banjo. Speak Spanish, senor. So, no, no, no. That could very well be of use to both of us. Well, that is, if you decide to take my offer. Now, the odds, of course, would be against you. But I trust you would rather go against odds than against a wall. <clears throat> What's the offer? Gentlemen, I think you had better sit down. I don't care what you say. I'm not going to do it. Well, according to that general, we don't have a choice. Chance is what we haven't got. Not one in hell. All they want us to do is take a train load of dynamite back across the Sierra Madres, run the rebel lines, fight off the White Mountain Apaches, and hand the train over to the federal garrison in Chihuahua. Why us? I guess they figure with the two of us aboard, we'll look like a train load of gringos headed north toward the border. Sometimes I don't understand you, Cross. One time you're fighting for the good side, next for the bad. Man's got to make a living, Boo. No, that's not it. You're counting on me coming along. You're counting on me getting killed. Then you won't have to split the goal, right? Well, I'm not going to do it. Well, then stay here. Let them stand me up against the wall, huh? That's what the man said. Guys are getting better out there. And I'm getting out of here. How? I'll bribe my way out. With what? Gold. That you ain't got and won't ever have unless you come with me. And get my head blown off. At least you'll get a run for your money. Right through the middle of a Mexican revolution. You've been shot at before. I'm not sitting on a load of dynamite. What about tied to a post? We're gonna miss you, Boone. The hell you are. I'm coming along.
Senor Boone. You and Cross, you been friends a long time? Well, he won't admit it. Goes around telling everybody's got no use for me, but down deep he does. <laughs> yeah, we go back a long way. We soldiered together, cowboyed some. What brought you to Mexico? A train. Ah, you gotta watch me. I, I poke fun a lot. <laughs> no, we uh, we were in a little business deal together. It had to do with gold. You were miners. Not exactly. This gold was stole. Uh, and you were after the ones who did it, huh? Um, more like the other way around. <laughs> you are outlaws. <laughs> Manner speaking, huh? And you are rich, huh? Yeah, well, I would be if I knew where the gold was. See, Cross, he's got a level head on his shoulders. He hit it where I couldn't find him. Why would he do that? For my own good. You know, me being poor all my life, I'd have gone around spending it like a drunken sailor, and everybody would know that it was stole. Except we had to wait a year, maybe more. Senor Cross is lucky the Federales are not after him. They would hold fire to his feet until he told them where the gold was hidden. Now, that's the kind of behavior that starts wars down here. By the way, how come you're fighting on the wrong side? Father was a soldier, his father before him. That's no reason to go against your own people. I thought about that. I thought about it a lot. Maybe one day. Uh, maybe a step in the right direction. See, if you and your squad look the other way, me and Cross could hightail it back to Texas. Jackasses. In case the train breaks down. They're gonna pull it? They're gonna pack the dynamite. You mean we might have to walk? Just up to the next train stop. According to that general, they got rolling stock all along the line, clear to the border. Locomotives, flat cars. What if it's rolling our way? Man can't live forever, Boone. Not around you, he can't. Cross, I got to thinking. You and me, we could be any place we wanted to be. And here we are running wild in Mexico, and I wouldn't have it no other way. Either would you. Now, why is that? Well, I guess it just goes to prove that a man ought to be free to run and jump or do any damn thing he wants to do in this life. What about when he can't jump no more? And he ought to get him a rich widow and a rocking chair. What if she runs away with a stud player? Then get another as quick as you can. Yeah, I doubt it'll come to that. You and me, we got about as much chance of growing old as this damn train does getting safe across Mexico. What do you say? The next time this thing stops, we steal us a couple of them mules and ride to Texas. What do you say we don't? Why not? We've got that firing squad with us, for one thing. Well, it seems friendly enough to me. But they won't be if we try to get off this train. Yeah. Let me see, man. I 
tickets. There's nothing left to do but relax and enjoy the trip. and boom. Sounds like a dog act. Which one's cross? He is. That figures. I'm Germany. Stage name, but it's stuck. That there's Lily, Pearl, Brandy, Durango, and Jesse. We were on our way to Mexico City when the war broke. The engineer and conductor started yelling Peligroso or some damn thing. Next, you know, they pulled the link pin and left us stranded there. Well, how'd they expect you to get back to Texas? I asked them that. What'd they say? Shove it. Never should have come down here in the first place. Why did you? Well, when you're in my business, you gotta stay on the move. That's how come I got this car. I got tired of getting kicked out of one town after another. Figured any town worth working's got rails running through it. We were doing all right until the Denver and Rio Grande got after us. And then we decided to cross the line until things cooled off. What about you two? What are you doing here? It's a long story. Tell it. We're taking a freight through to the border. Good. No, ma'am, it's not. What's that supposed to mean? It means that the next siding we come to, we're going to have to switch you into it. And leave us here? Somebody will come along and pick you up. Who? We haven't seen anything alive in this godforsaken country since they dumped us here. We could starve. She's right, Cross. What do you want me to do? Take them along and get them all killed? We could offload that dynamite. Dynamite? Yes, ma'am. A whole flat car full. And it's gonna stay that way. Even if we have to starve? You'll be all right. Oh, the hell we will. Why don't you just come right out and say it, Mr. Cross? Our kind's not worth worrying about. Well, if you think that, why not take us along? She's got a point. The hell she does. We're not afraid of a good fight. There ain't no such thing as a good fight if you can end up dead. And you're not gonna. Not with me. What about being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere? The next sighting. I'm all right. Looks like they joined the circus. Sir, what happens if those two don't make it back to Texas? Well, Wells Fargo will be out the half million dollars in gold they stole. And we'll be out of a job. Well, then why don't we just go down there and jump them and drag them back? You want to be buried in Mexico? No, sir. Neither do I. I still don't like 
leaving them here. Couldn't we just kind of... No! When we get to the next town, we'll send somebody back for you. If you get to the next town. Winchesters. Buenos dias. It is a beautiful day, no? So far. Uh, I know what you mean. These times of war. A man can be alive and happy one minute, and the next. It is a terrible thing. I can see you joined the army. You might say that. We haven't made up our minds which side we're on. The Federales, they want us to be soldiers for them. But they have chased us and shot us for so long, we don't think we trust them. <laughs> and the same with the others. So we have decided to stay in the middle, be friends to everyone. You should do the same, gringo. This is not your war. You don't have no stinking business in my country. You have guns in that train? Just the ones that are pointed at your head. Glad you I get the hell out of here. Run away? My men would laugh at me. That's better than burying you. Gringo! It seems to my eyes that all you have behind you are women. I think you're bluffing. Call me. They work for Wells Fargo. And I'd say you've got a charmed life, Cross. I do. What was your name again? 
Brandy. That's just what I'll have. <laughs> <laughs> Want to sit in, Mr. Boone? What are you playing? Stud. And uh, later. I'll save you a hand. There you are. Where's Germany? Right next to France. <laughs> How you girls manage to keep your sense of humor through all this just amazes me. <laughs> Much obliged. Don't mention it, especially to your wife. <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> Cute. First class. Don't get too attached to him back there. We're going to drop him off first chance we get. Do we have to? You can stay with him if you want to. I'm damn near tempted to do it. I haven't been on a drunk or a woman in so long, I can't remember when. Now is your chance. I'd hate myself if I woke up hungover in the morning and found out you were long gone to Texas, and that's probably just what had happened. Probably. Of course, there's always a chance I might manage to stay sober. Be worth a try. Ah, the hell it would. Oh, them Mexicans, you figure they'll come back? He said he would. With only Bobby and none, there's over 50 of them. I'd say there's a little short-handed. Short-handed? We've got a flat car full of dynamite. We keep rolling, we can hold off an army. Like the time we stood off that Union cavalry charge at Brandy Station. My God. Yes, sir. If the Confederacy hadn't run out of medals, I'll bet we'd have got one then. If they made a hero out of you, you wouldn't be worth a damn, Boone. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I've seen it happen to a lot of soldiers. And we were good soldiers couldn't march worth a damn, but when it come to fighting. Did I ever tell you how proud I was of you during the war? Every time you wanted something, and you want something now, but you ain't gonna get it. I'll go check on them other jackasses. That's all right. I just want to thank you for not leaving us back there. Well, I had no choice. And you'll get rid of us as soon as you can. I know that, but I want to thank you anyway. And I don't mind telling you, you and Boone walking out there against those 50 was something to see. <laughs> My kind of work, you seldom come across men who act like men. Yeah, we was acting all right. No, you weren't. You and Boone would have stood your ground and taken them all on if it come right down to it. And I'll be damned if I don't think you'd have whipped them. Not without them Fargo boys behind us. Why are they behind you? Man starts telling everybody his business pretty soon he don't have any. Meaning for me to mind my own. Mr. Cross. How is it that a man like you makes his way with a gun? Because that's what I'm good at. I'm good at rolling drunks. And asking questions, and feeling sorry for yourself. If one thing I can't stand, it's a sob story. Sob story? Who cares if you have to wear a red dress when you get married? Married? To some hotshot politician or some damn body. Your kind always do. What kind am I, Mr. Cross? You're clever. You play a man like a pump organ. You brag on him, make him feel important, and then turn him every way but loose. You don't think very much of women, do you? The hell I don't. I just don't trust them. But you've had your share. Enough to know a good one when I see one. Me? That's right. And on top of that, you're the best all-over good-looking woman I ever laid eyes on. And pretty handy with a Winchester, too. You really think that? Well, I ain't never seen you shoot one, but... No, that, uh, that I'm the best-looking woman you ever laid eyes on. 
That's what I said. Good night. What do you make of it? I don't know. We'll leave the train and go have a look. Right. Why the hell do we need that? You never can tell. What if somebody jumps the train while we're gone? I just told it. in Denver, I ate in this restaurant, had a big sign on the wall, watch your hat and coat. While I was watching them, somebody stole my steak. What the hell are you talking about?
What's wrong? It's the boiler. If we don't take on water soon, she's going to blow. What do you say? He says the river's about a half a mile over there. Well, what are we waiting for? We can't move the train. We've got to haul it. Then what? Come on. No podemos, ocupamos agua para la boila. That's a collector's item, Cross. You get it back. Who was it? Lily. Of the valley? The mountains wasn't bad either. No, I'm not taking it. this the most beautiful place you've ever seen? Water going one way, clouds going another? Yeah. Is that all you got to say? Yeah. Yeah. In trouble with you, Cross. You got no soul. Tell me something. Will we ever get our hands on that gold? What are you doing with your share? I'll buy my place back. Yeah? If that happens, any chance of me working for you? <laughs> Damn, I'm no good with cows, but I'm good with chickens and pigs and sheep. Huh? You ain't working for me. You're gonna be my partner. Partner? How come? How long have we known each other? Ooh, it, ten years? More like twenty. You like me. I didn't say that. I'm just kind of used to you, I guess. You'd miss me if something happened to me. I didn't say that either. Could it be you're getting soft in your old age, huh? Go to hell, Boone. Ah, 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 ah. Go to hell. Partner. Well, at this rate, it's going to take all day to fill that damn boiler. Longer than that. We'll be lucky if we get out of here tomorrow. And I'd say if I'm going to hang on a drunk tonight's the night. You're not about to run away and leave them women out here. You got it all figured out, don't you? Yeah. All except who's going to have the first dance. <laughs> How's it going? Well, we're getting the hang of it. Be ready to roll by morning. Boone's ready to roll now. The girls are going to take him down the river later. Sober him up. Can he swim? Like a fish. Cross. Mind if I come along? It's your tub. Old Boone's getting to be a regular Texas Tommy dancer, isn't he? He's drunk. As a skunk. I'd say now's the time to take him, sir. I wouldn't. Well, but, sir, if we could just get him to tell us where... Where the gold is hid? Well, yes, sir. He doesn't know where the gold is hid. If he did, he wouldn't be here. But, sir, if... Do you know why it is that a man can always beat a dog at poker? Um, 
N no, sir. Dog gets a good hand. He always wags his tail. We got a good hand. We don't sit on our tail. Oh. Mm. Every time I see a river, it takes me back. My hometown had one running right through the middle of it. There was a bridge. On one side was uh, saloons, dance halls, and the like. And on the other, there were stores, a school, a church. The good side and the bad side, they used to call it. Sometimes, some of us kids, we'd go down to the, to the bridge and hide under it, watch the wives waiting for their husbands to come back across from the bad side. One night, we, we sneaked across the bridge to one of the saloons looked in under the bat wing doors and there were four women on a plank stage in red tights and feathers dancing kicking their heels half over their heads and men just laughing drinking just having a good old time made up my mind right then and there what I didn't want to be I didn't want to ever end up on a bridge waiting for a drunk husband So, when I was 15, I ran away from home. Got a job singing and dancing in the saloon. Only I couldn't sing or dance too good. It was rough, I won't deny it. But I made my way and I, I've never been sorry. Sometimes I wonder though, what would have happened if I hadn't crossed that bridge. Like I say, every time I see a river, The hell you say? Did you tell him I could swim? You think I'd do anything like that? I know you would. He went down like a rock. It wasn't even over his head. The hell it wasn't. I was on my knees. At least you're sober. And alive, no thanks to you. And Teddy, you do a good drunk around here. The next river we come to, try to drown him again. All aboard, ladies. Okay, <laughs> Lieutenant. Si, senor. A garrison in Chihuahua. You got any idea what they're going to do with that dynamite? They're going to use it to blow up a rebel stronghold in the mountains to the north. And that will not stop the revolution, senor. Mexico is a country of glory and shame, and the people are the glory. And one day they will have Diaz by the throat and they will never let go. Well, whose side are you on, Lieutenant? There's a fine line between truth and treason, senor. And so what happens to you when Diaz falls? A wall, uh, a rope. Well, that's not much to look forward to. Why don't you just turn in your uniform and... Become a rebel, man. Eh? Ask me, that's what you are.
Rebel lines are dead ahead. We ought to be getting there along about daybreak. Then what? Well, the general says that there's a garrison just this side of Gomez Palacio, strung out along the tracks about a mile. How do we get by them? There's two ways. We can leave the train and go around, or we can pimp our way through. Pimp our way through? Yeah, we can hide the dynamite and the soldiers. We'll look like an empty freight headed north with a load of jackasses and camp followers. Half dress the women, hang them out the window, let them wave, blow a few kisses, we'll get right through, no trouble. I don't like it. I say we go around. If we do, we'll have to walk from here. With our heads up. That's more than a pimp can do, and that's what we'd be if we sell them women to save our lives. It won't come to that. Well, what if it does? I don't want any part of it. I couldn't look myself in the face if I hid under a woman's skirt. Well, if you want to go around, go around. You'd pimp alone? If I have to. Aren't you forgetting something? What? The women. What if they won't go along with it? What's their idea? How you look at them. Did we do something wrong? It worked. This time, and there damn sure ain't gonna be no next time. Does that mean what I think it does? No, ma'am, it don't. There's a junction up here with a line that swings north toward the border. We'll be there in about two days. The border? Time to get the hell out of this country. Now, get out of here and put on some decent-looking clothes. Cross, if you... Out. Boone, I just might shoot you and get it over with. Boy, 
What did I do? It's what you didn't do. The only thing I didn't do is get myself killed. Well, keep trying, will you? Look, just because you had an argument with your woman. My woman? Well, why the hell else would you jump all over me for no reason at all? Look, if I wasn't here... Then I wouldn't be here. And if you weren't greedy, you wouldn't stay here. You'd head for the border. The very next junction. You mean we're heading for Texas? We're not going to help blow up an army? We never were. Well, you told the general... Just exactly what he wanted to hear so he wouldn't line us up against the wall. You know, Cross, you and me, we know what we're fighting over. But I doubt them soldier boys do, and I'm glad as hell we ain't going to blow any of them up. Me too. Buy a drink? Yeah. Tracks are in bad shape. As long as we're not getting shot at, who the hell cares? Let's go to Texas. important to tell you. I have just learned that the Federales have put a price on my head. Ten pesos. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ten stinking pesos. Well, I don't know about you, but this makes me very angry. There is a bandit from Durango who has not robbed and killed near as many innocent people as I have. And the price on his head is 10,000 pesos. Because of this terrible insult to your leader, I have decided that we are no longer in the middle in this war. From this day on, we are rebels. Anyone who disagrees with my decision will be shot. And from now on, I will be called General. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución! Viva me! Viva me!
Apache. Is that all? That's enough. Let's get out of here. Right. Be a long night. Maybe they won't try it. I wouldn't count on it. Why don't we just fire it? There's somebody out there. about sneaking up on you like that. Name's Jones. You know my name. Should. Been tracking you long enough. You Fargo boys keep rotten hours. Got a man hurt. Apache stuck a war lance in him. Thought you might give us a hand. You thought wrong. Lost a lot of blood. Might be dying. If that happens, there'll only be six of you left. Back you up when you get in trouble again. Are you trying to shame us, Mr. Jones? I'm trying to save a man. Good man. Meaning we're not. Not if you let him die. If it wasn't for the two of you, he wouldn't be here. On one condition. That you and your men head back to Texas. Tonight. <sighs> Crawling with Apache out there. You can go around. You can't. I want you to stop me from swinging around at the border and just waiting for you at the end of the line. Your word? Already gave that to Wells Fargo. Well, it looks like you've got a dead man on your hands. Does it? Jones. Bring him in. But just him. Oh, boy. He's 
Might not be a bad idea if we stood the night out together. You know good Wells Fargo dead. Ain't no good to me either. <laughs> or even. Cross. That Jones fellow, I heard of him. Once he gets after a man, he don't give up. I thought you were worried about the Apaches. I am. So's Jones. Well, them Apaches can stop us from getting back to Texas. They could stop him, and they could stop you. <laughs> if I didn't know you, Cross, I... You'd be better off. Hell, I would. I'd tell you something else, too, but you'd just think I was trying to get on your good side. I ain't got no good side. Then why'd you take that Wells Fargo man in last night? I've been asking myself the same thing. I'll tell you why. You got a heart as big as a house. A whorehouse? Well, you could have left them behind, too. I should have. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't have had a chance. Well, they got one now. It'll be squalls if we don't get to the border. We'll get there. Not if they have anything to say about it. He's trying to throw a scare into us. What are we going to do? Going to throw one into them. Watch the back door. Just stay calm there. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just a few Apaches, and we've handled Apaches before. You don't, you don't have to be worried at all. We'll take care of it. Everything will be fine. <laughs>
All clear, little ladies. <laughs> Those aren't the first Apaches we've settled to score with. Probably won't be the last either, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Scared hell out of them. Yeah, they'll get over it. Long about dark. Then I say we better keep on rolling, bad track or not. Wind up at the bottom of a canyon? There's a whole parcel of them. How are we going to stand them off? Well, we did it once before during the war at Vicksburg. Remember? Yeah, and I remember something else, too. We lost the war. <laughs> How is it? Alive. No way to get to us. I doubt if they'll even try. Boone tells me you were in the war together. Four years. I saved his life at Shiloh. I decided not to shoot him. If you had, you wouldn't have to share the gold with him. Boone talks too much. He didn't tell me. Who did? Fargo man. Fever. He raved all night. Told the whole thing. No, ma'am, he didn't. You robbed a Texas train. You ought to go back in there and listen some more. Maybe you'll hear my side of the story. How you came back from the war and found they were growing gold on your place instead of cattle only. Wasn't your place anymore? That's part of it. That still doesn't give you the right. We're not talking about rights. We're talking about crooked lawyers and judges. I thought you didn't like sob stories, Mr. Cross. Only my own. I liked it so much, I told it to myself for 10 years before I decided to come back and get my share. They were shipping it by train to a Texas bank. Me and Boone held up the express car. When he opened the door to kick out the Fargo box, I kicked him out. By the time he'd caught up to me, I'd already hit the goal. I decided to let things cool off for a while. Maybe in time, they'd have dug my place dry and I could buy it back. We stole the money. You sound like one of them lawyers. If they catch you, you'll get 20 years. You don't strike me as a farmer. I used to be. I used to sing in the choir. You've come a long way. People change. Other people. Sometimes for the good. Like hell. All I'm saying is... I'm getting swindled out of everything I own, and I'm a better man for it. A happier one. I hadn't noticed. You're in your glory. What with Wells Fargo after you, the Mexicans, Apaches. You wouldn't trade places with anybody for all the gold there is. I don't hate anybody that much. You don't hate anybody at all. Not even those that beat you out of your lane. You shouldn't be singing in a choir. You should be preaching the sermon. Cross! Go ahead, tell him. He came at us from every direction, drove off the horses. We never even got off a shot, just scattered and ran. What about Jones and the rest of them? They caught him, tied him up, and rode off our track. They should have went around. They were told. About the Apaches, these were Mexicans. Mexicans? Same bunch you two ran into back at the train stop. Our 50 friends. Not anymore. There's over 100 of them.
Buenos días, señores. I'm afraid you have almost caught me with my pants off. <laughs> when I was a boy at the mission, the padres taught me that if I stay clean, I could get next to God. There's another way. <laughs> I like you. You don't let words get in the way of what you have to say, huh? You rode off with five men. Me? I was there. I will not lie to you. I learned that at the mission, too. Yes, I have this many. Where are they? Alive and well. And they will stay that way if you do as I say. There is a law in our country that says a poor Mexican like me cannot buy dynamite. Not one stick. The reason for that is it could fall into the wrong hands, be used against the government. And that is just what I'm going to do. I thought you was in the middle. I was, until others began to join me. They say I'm a born leader, <laughs> that I should march to the gates of the city. They're coming from everywhere to ride behind me. And if they don't, their village ends up like the one back there. They didn't understand the magic there is about me. I don't understand it myself. The gift of leadership is a dangerous thing. Well, so is holding those five Fargo men. We'll make a trade. For the dynamite? Si, senor. Beyond that rise, the last mountain. The rail ran through a tunnel to Texas across the river on the other side. We will wait at the mouth of the tunnel for the mules. The mules? Loaded with the boxes. When the animals are halfway to the foot of the mountain from the rice, we will set your men free. I swear. The last mountain. I saw it once from Texas. And I will pray you will see it again, senor. We will be waiting. Adios. No, I like you guys. dynamite are we those are fargo men you go trading for their hides they'll be right after us again look i don't like hanging men out to die any more than you do i ain't hanging nobody out to die at least in los mulas then why are you telling those soldier boys to offload those mules i didn't know you could talk mexican see but i don't see why you're offloading those mules you will amigo vaya con dios no reason to swear to men You're gonna stand up to them, aren't you? I hope you're not gonna start preaching to me again. I would if I thought it'd do any good. It won't. Cheers. The soldiers will take you and the others and swing north toward the border. You'll be safe there. If it's all the same to you, we'll stay. It's not all the same to me. Well, it should be. If they see us pulled out, they'll know you're up to something. Your chances are slim enough without us adding to it. You got it all figured out, don't you? 
I did have. Until about four days ago. I was doing just fine till you came along. Ever since I can remember, I've known where I was going, and I don't anymore, thanks to you. You come busting into my life, ordering me around, treating me like a lady? That's what you are. The hell I am. The hell you're not. Next, you'll be asking for my hand. Look, I got a hundred Mexicans waiting for me up there on the track, and I don't have time for a lover's quarrel. Lover's quarrel? Th I'll be back. Here. You're gonna get yourself killed. We'll all get killed if they get their hands on that dynamite. You're trying to be a hero, ain't you? Saving those Fargo boys ain't enough. You want to save all of Mexico. I just might do that. And you know how much thanks you'll get? None. You know how much the world's gonna miss you when you're dead and gone? None. Put your fist in the bucket of water and pull it out. That's how much. Ooh, and I hate to disappoint you, but I don't intend to get myself killed. Now get the hell out of here. Wait a minute, just a damn minute. What do you intend to do? I already told you. A lie, that's what you told me. That's why you're so anxious to go it alone, isn't it? You're gonna run this thing right through that Mexican tunnel to Texas. Then you're gonna run off and leave me. Your last chance and you're gonna take it, huh? Look. Hey, go to hell. I'm going along and you can't stop me. Eh. Cross? Stay alive. I'll be back.
don't run away from a bull leader. Wells Fargo's gonna have a hell of a time proving you stole that gold if they never find it. Gonna make damn sure they never do. I'm sorry we had to leave your car behind. Been trying to do that for a long time. Fargo boys will see that you get safe to Del Rio. You aren't coming? I'll be along in a few days. I'll be there. That was the rotten thing to do. You could have got me killed. I still might. You're greedy, Ross. You're just plain greedy. If I had the wings of an angel over these prison walls, I would fly. I would fly to the arms of my boy. 